Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 51. And in this tutorial we are going to continue from where we left off in the previous video uh, having uh, this form that we created that uh, if you guys try to submit it without filling any fields then it would go ahead and give this error you need to fill in all fields and let's say you filled in all of these fields but you left one of them blank you'd still get the exact same error okay so now we're gonna take a look at uh, you know if the users fold in all the fields let's go ahead and check for a few um, other extra uh, like requirements that the user would have to meet okay so let's just say that our username is only allowed to be 30 characters or 32 characters or less so no more than 32 okay again our password uh, we're gonna have to make sure that these two passwords match and also that these passwords are not longer than 32 characters or something so um, that's what we'll go ahead and do uh, in, the, in this tutorial and then I think we'll set a limit to uh, this uh, info box over here so we'll make sure that the user doesn't put in more than 120 characters so just because you know if I if I made this limit a thousand we wouldn't really be able to test it, test it very well I don't really want to be able to have to type out a thousand characters in there to test okay so let's go ahead now and create um, some more variables for all of these uh, things that we've checked up here okay so we right now uh, have our username uh, variable which was checked over there so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna copy this but we're gonna make it w one called password so a variable called password and that's gonna be equal to dollar underscore po post uh, password and then we've got password again so I'm gonna go ahead and just set this equal to password again and that will be equal to dollar underscore post password again uh, same thing with uh, the last two things that we're working with here gender and info so uh, variable called gender and we'll set that equal to dollar underscore post gender <laughs> so a little bit tedious creating all these variables but we're pretty much done so info and dollar underscore post info okay so now we have all of these created as brand new variables which we can go ahead and use in the rest of our code it's a lot easier than typing dollar underscore post every time we want to uh, use the variable okay so now we just want to check is this uh, username too long or is it all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start off an if statement over here so if and then we'll say um, strlen so you guys should have learned about this in my tutorial about strings I do cover strlen and this is just gonna return the length of whatever variable we place in here so if um, strlen username uh, is greater than 32 so uh, if there are more than 32 characters in this username let's go ahead and just tell the user that their their username is too long so go ahead and say echo um, your uh, username is too long okay go ahead and uh, end that off Another check that we want to gonna have to want to perform is to see if these two passwords are correct or that they match each other. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say else if, and then we'll say uh, password not equal to password again then we're gonna want to go ahead and echo out an error of your 
passwords do not match and um, we're also going to want to check the length of these passwords so let's go ahead and just we'll only have to uh, select or check the length of the password field because whenever they fill in password again it has to be equal to password otherwise they're going to get this error so let's just make sure that we check that this password is not longer than 32 uh, characters so let's go else if uh, password I always do that I always type password but I type password like that or instead of saying password it's like just a really weird error that I make every single time but <laughs> it's kind of funny okay password uh, else if password okay we want to check the length right so it's str len password greater than 32 then we'll give them the error of uh, your password is too long so your password is too long and I guess uh, gender there's nothing really to check for over here because um, right up here in this in this uh, beginning if statement we're checking if gender is not empty ie if they have not ticked one of these uh, radio buttons or checked one of these radio buttons but as soon as they've checked one uh, they're not going to be able to uncheck uh, the radio button so you know then it's either a, like the choice of them having been male or female there's always going to be a value there we're not going to have to check if the value is too big too small too long too short whatever uh, we created all of that behind the scenes over here so there's no not much point in checking that unless uh, the user physically tried to alter our form which we'll get into in another tutorial but for now uh, we don't have to check anything to do with this gender okay then we'll go ahead and just check this info um, variable over here as well so let's go ahead and say else if um, I'm actually going to break that down to a new line. Else if our info variable is too long. So uh, str len info. And we'll just check if this is greater than 120. Then let's go ahead and echo out your info is too long. Okay, cool. Um, and that's pretty much all we've had to do. We've just made sure that they've passed all these checks. And uh, if they do pass all of these checks, then let's go ahead and just echo out something. So we'll say else. Um, that means that all of these checks or these conditions have been passed. Then we'll just echo out uh, your, well, um, let's use double quotes here. Okay, I'm going to say your data or the following data has been submitted. The following data has been submitted. And then we'll just echo out whatever's been submitted. So we'll say uh, add in a break tag over here. And then I'm going to, I'm just laying this out the way that it would be displayed so if I put a break tag here then this is going to be on a new line so we'll go ahead and say password uh, well username first sorry username is equal to username and then we'll add a break tag over here and I'm actually just going to duplicate this one two three four five okay um, the next one can be password and we'll just display that as password we don't have to d display password again because they have to match so there's no point but we're going to display gender and that will be displayed as whatever gender was uh, so gender 
and I did not use a capital, so got to get that out of there. Gender, 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 and then info. And that was equal to info. And we can get rid of those two uh, things. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and save this now, and let's go ahead and check that everything was correct. So I'm going to go ahead and just... Um, I, I must have made an error somewhere along the line. Let's see. Semicolon over here, I guess. Go ahead and save that again. Click refresh. Resend. Uh, again, made another error. <laughs> Undefined password again. Again. Uh, so I got, need to go ahead and just add in that A over there. Cool. Done. So it's weird. Like uh, you, You'll uh, get used to just... Uh, reading these error errors as you find them <laughs> and then going and fixing them but let's go ahead and just land on this page brand new without putting any data in here and now we can go ahead and test this so right now it says you need to fill in all fields so let's go ahead and fill some stuff in we already know if we leave something blank we're going to get an error but let's fill in Quinton for the username, password, we'll say apples, and a password again. Let's make a different password, so we'll just say apples2, so that it's slightly different, so we'll get our error showing up here. Go ahead and say gender is male, tell me about yourself, let's go ahead and just say uh, I'm cool. Okay, click submit. Uh, and now we've got this error, your passwords do not match. So we need to make sure that our passwords match. Let's go again. Quinton, password, let's say apples, uh, password again, let's say apples. Gender, male, tell me about yourself. We'll go ahead and just say I'm cool. And let's make sure that our username is now too long so we can see that our username uh, check works, click submit, go ahead and uh, get rid of that, it said your username is too long and that's just because I pasted my name in like 200 times, okay, so Quinton, password, let's try uh, apples again and apples as the password, gender, male, and now let's go ahead and make sure that this can't be too long, so Let's try and make this longer than a Twitter post. Longer than a Twitter post. And I'm probably just going to copy that and paste it in a few times. It's the fastest way. Click submit. <laughs> and over here, your info is too long. So that error shows up as well uh, if this is too long. But now let's go ahead and fill this in perfectly. So uh, Quinton, so that's not too long, it's not too short, etc. Uh, apples and apples, male and hey, that's cool. Click submit and your data, or the following data has been submitted, a username of Quinton, a password of apples, gender of male and info of hey, that's cool. Okay, so now we've actually just <laughs> correctly and uh, for the first time ever validated our form data. And I'm sorry that this tutorial took a little bit longer than usual, but I'm going to try and keep all of them under 10 minutes from now on. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time.